I am so excited for today's video. If you guys, you know, you've already read the title and you can see it's behind me. I got a bookshelf. I'm <laughs> so stinking excited. My dad actually built it for me this morning. So of course I'm going to decorate it with you guys. But before we get into that, I wanted to give you a quick book haul because I have accumulated some books recently. I said this in my last vlog, but I've just been in a mood to buy books and not read them. So I think I have like seven books to show you guys. So let's get into it. The first First ones I accumulated very very recently and I just feel so grateful that I was able to get my hands on these because I've said over and over that I really want to read this series but I had not bought like the physical copies of the books yet but I'm really glad that I waited because Barnes & Noble came out with special editions and I think these are the prettiest books that I own. I got the special edition copies of the Crescent City uh, series by Sarah J Maas. Let's take a moment to appreciate how beautiful these are. This is the first book. I have no idea who she is, but it's just, it's stunning. Like all of the detail that they did in the printing. That's what the spine looks like. I also really like the orange reddish color. And these pages are like butter soft. I am terrified to read this and crack the spine because it's just, it's such a pretty book. And then we have the second book here. Again, no idea who this guy is, but the cover is working for him. They even have, has like the thunder, the thunderbolt on that, if you guys can see it. It's just like all the little details. That's the spine. That's the back. And again, butter soft pages. I'm so excited to display these next to my Actar books. Jumping into the next book I got, I did not need this, but we went into Target yesterday and it was the last day of their 20% off book sale. And they also had like, I think it was an extra 5% because it was Target Circle Week last week. So I got a copy of Icebreaker. I did actually mention this in the video that I posted today, which was the spend the first day of October vlog with me. And I just figured why not? This book is on my list and I wanna read it and I hear it's really good. I I have been recommended to this by a friend who I trust. She did say it is spicy though, so we'll see what that is, but I'm really excited to read this one soon. I think you guys are gonna be so excited about this next couple of books that I'm gonna show you. It's actually a series, and no, I did not need them, but they came out with brand new covers and I really wanted the old ones, so I actually bought them off of Blackwell's. I believe, I don't know if they still have them because I did buy them a couple weeks ago, but when I was shopping on the website, they did still have a few copies if you guys are interested. But I got the Magnolia Park series. I'm so incredibly excited. This is a romance series. I've heard phenomenal things about it. I just adore these covers. They're so pretty. Here's the back. I think the Daisy Hates, this is my favorite cover out of all of them. They're just so pretty. Oh wait, here's Daisy Hates. That one was The Great Undoing by Daisy Hates, but even this one too is stunning. And then we have Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. And I think these ones are gonna look so good on my bookshelf too, so. That is the tiny little book haul, but let's get into decorating my bookshelf. If you guys are curious, this is actually the same bookshelf that Sarah Crowley has. It's on Amazon. I can link it down below. It is a little bit expensive, but it's engineered wood. If you guys have bought from Ikea before, I'm pretty sure it's like the same kind of wood. So it's pretty good quality as long as it doesn't break, but I love the color. I love how it looks and it also just fits perfectly in this spot. So I'm going to pull out all of the books that I have. I actually have a couple of books in these cubes behind me. These are actually all the books that I have yet to read. And I have all of my A Court of Thorns and Roses books in here because I just, I couldn't put them away. I also have my copy of Say You Swear, which is a book I read this year that I absolutely loved. And I'm super excited to have this on the shelf too. But a lot of these books I have yet to read. So I'm gonna have to pull all of them out and figure out how I want to decorate. I definitely want to like make it really cute like how Sarah and Destiny have all their shelves. It's not like there's straight books in a row. I'll find some Pinterest photos and kind of like put my inspo on the screen so you guys can catch the vibe that I'm trying to go with. But I'm gonna pull out all of the books that I have under my bed. I also have a ton on my nightstand. Those are all of my like religious books. I also have all the books that I pulled out from out of stores or like underneath. So we have a lot of books and I know they're not obviously all gonna fit on my shelf. Definitely gonna be going through all of them and I'm gonna hopefully free up some space so I can have more shoe stores because I keep my shoes in these two bins right here. 
But anyways, I'm so excited. So let's get into pulling out all of my books. Just to give you all a general idea of how many books I have, all four of these were underneath my bed. I also still have a lot next to my bedside table. And then I have the books that were in there, that stack, and then the books I just showed you guys. I also have books in that one. They're like all my older books that I had when I was a kid. Obviously, I'm not gonna be displaying those on my shelf. But here is an overview of what the shelf looks like. I think it looks super cute. And again, it fits so perfect in this little spot right here. I used to have my fan right there, but I've actually just moved it right here. I'm gonna start picking out which books I wanna include. Probably most of these are in the bin, honestly, because these are like my favorite books that I have read in the last couple of years. Like I have all my romance in here. I have a lot of my like Throne of Glass, Cruel Prince, Once Upon a Broken Heart books in there. I have all my Red Queen books in that one and my Twilight books. This one is more odds and ends, so I'm probably not going to include a lot of those. And then obviously like my Akatar stack is right there with The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. Lonely nights, paradise, with your soul crushing into mine. How could we be so dumb to let you fall like that? Not for drinks, I know if I did I'd call you every time Baby, I'm a fool So let's fall like that I know I'm not perfect But you know That you'd rather be Right next to me All I want is For us to be Happy But maybe we don't know what love is Don't know I love it. I think I love you more than I love myself. Yeah. Cause I think about you over and over again. And every now and then, I just can't help myself to think about you over and over again. I know I'm not perfect, but you know. Genuinely, I think I'm sweating. I shouldn't have done this in a sweater but i finished and i think i really like how they came out i feel like this was easier than i thought it was going to be but also i still like had spots where i was like oh i don't like how that looks and obviously this is subject to change i also left some room for some series that i know i like want to get more books for i'll stop rambling but let me show you guys what it looks like so here's the shelf a little overview I'll go row by row. So starting with the top row, I have all my Sadie Robertson Huff books because there's a little bit of space on the end. This was the last thing that I did. And I have this shell here that was given to me by somebody. It was just kind of sitting nowhere, not getting used. So I figured I might as well just throw it up here and add it for a little decoration. Then I have a lot of my romance, like my summer romance books. So I have my Emily Henry books. I actually have the book of the month copy of Beach Read. So it is a hard cover book. And then book lovers. And then I have like my summer broken rules, the Carly fortune books and then say you swear on the top because it deserves to be on the top and then i put my magnolia parks books here moving to the akatar sarah j moss shelf i really like how this came out i think this is really fun because again these covers are gorgeous so i might as well display them i also have this akatar candle that a friend gave me for my birthday last year that i've just been waiting to get a shelf so i can put it next to my akatar books moving to the third shelf i have a lot of my fantasy books so i have the entire Cruel, Pr Cruel Prince series here and then the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. This is definitely going to change because I already pre-ordered the third book for this series so that's probably going to be going right here where Six of Crows is. So I'm probably going to remove one of these two books because they're just standalone books that I don't have like the other copies of. So I have my Six of Crows books here and then these two and then I have Throne of Glass here because I really want to get like the entire series but this is the only book I have so I left space here and then I just threw on a vase that I have that I actually made in a pottery class, which is super fun. Moving to the next shelf, I have a lot of my summer romance books as well. I have my book of the month books, Better Than the Movies, Twisted Games. A lot of these are standalone books I don't have like multiples of of the series. I didn't like pair the Allie Hazelwood and the Taylor Jenkins reads together just because it looked weird when I did it that way because these two are hardcover books and these are paperbacks. So I just threw them in an order that I thought looked aesthetically pleasing. And then I have all my Jenny Han books 
books here, which I thought was fun, and then all my Coho's. Second to bottom shelf, I absolutely love the two bottom shelves. I love how they came out. I have all of my Kiara Cass books right here. The only book I'm missing is the second one to the Betrothed series that I'll probably get eventually, and I still have space, so if I want to get it, then that'll work out. And then I have The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. This book is actually beautiful. And then I have my Strange the Dreamer series, and then The Gracier and The Vanishing Deep. These are both standalone dystopian novels. Then moving to the bottom shelf, these are like my OG books, books that I first read when I first started getting to reading during the pandemic, and I absolutely love them. They're dystopian fantasy books. So I have the entire Red Queen series right here, and then I have my Twilight books, which you guys know I actually read this year, and then I have the Three Dark Crown series by Kendra Blake, and she actually just came out with a new book series. I forget what it's called, but I definitely want Want to read that. And then I have my one Shatter Me book. This is the only book that I own in the entire series and I have not read it yet. So I figured might as well throw it on the bottom with the rest of like the dystopian fantasy books. So I have three empty containers. I was able to empty my cube organizer container and I'll have to go through and do with that afterwards. And then I still have all of the books that are over there by my nightstand. Those are all just like older books that I've had since like middle school, high school. Obviously I can still like stack books on this top, top shelf too, but I just figured for now I wouldn't do that because I don't know what books I'm gonna buy in the future. Maybe I'll like put my TBR books up here for books that I haven't read yet because I still have some that I wasn't able to display that are gonna end up going like in these bins. Like I have a bunch of those. And then I have all these empty bins, like I was saying before. That is going to be it for today's video. I guess I have a new, like, filming corner in my room, which is so exciting because you guys can finally see all of the books that I have, and it just makes my heart so happy looking at this shelf. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe below if you guys are new here. And if you have any book recommendations for me, as always, leave me a comment letting me know what you would like me to read. Or if you have any video ideas, definitely leave me a comment below as well. But I'm now going to have to clean up all of these books and reorganize all of them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. But maybe we don't know our love is.